We finally have the first drop-in refrigerant for 410A. So when R22 systems were being phased out years ago, they started coming out with all these drop-in refrigerants or replacement, retrofits, whatever verbiage you want to use. A lot of guys get caught up. You say drop-in, it means this or that, whatever you want to call it. Ultimately, these are refrigerants that can replace that original refrigerant in the heating and air system, and possibly you could get at least the somewhat same performance out of the H HVAC system. Now, some might argue, well, the performance ain't quite the same, and they would be right. In most cases, drop-in refrigerants are not going to perform at the same level as the original refrigerant. But now we finally have a drop-in refrigerant for 410. In the last year or two, we have seen 410A prices jump dramatically. And I think there's a couple reasons for that. Number one, because they can. Who's going to do anything about it? If they all get together and say, hey, we're going to start raising the prices, what are you going to do about it? But they are going to start phasing it out. And I just think that the market itself, especially as we start to phase out 410 and all these new refrigerants start to come out, we've got all these systems out there with 410A refrigerant already in them, right? So what do you do about that? And so now now they're starting to come out with drop-in refrigerants 410A. So this is the first one I have seen. It came out earlier this year. I believe it was January is when it first got advertised and it's called RS53 and it's non-flammable. It has a low GWP. It's equal capacity. So in other words, if it was 10 pounds of 410 that system needed, now you'll need 10 pounds of this stuff. No oil or component change required. That's good. With R22, with some of these refrigerants, they were saying, hey, to change from R22 to this refrigerant, you need to replace all your seals, the filter dryer, etc. And this is saying that you won't need to do that. It doesn't say that in this article I'm looking at right now, but I would assume that what they would probably want, if there were any 410A refrigerants still in the system, reclaim that, then pull your vacuum on the heating and air system, and then add this new refrigerant. I haven't laid hands on it yet. I haven't needed to. 410A has gotten quite a bit more expensive. In fact, it has jumped 400% just in the last year or so. I remember being able to get a jug for it for less than $100 not that long ago. And so it's jumped dramatically in price, just like everything else has. I think inflation plays a role in this too. Everything has gone up, but I just think that now with it being phased out, they are going to squeeze every little bit of money they can out of their 410A refrigerant. And it's nice to see that there are other options that are popping up. As soon as I can, I probably will try to get my hands on a jug of this stuff just to see, but I would obviously want to test it with a system that is not under warranty. Have you laid hands on it? Are you a heating and air guy and you've laid hands on this RS53? Comstar is the brand name and then the refrigerant is actually R470A is what they're calling it. I haven't laid hands on it yet. I haven't even needed to. I do predict that we will be seeing newer refrigerants, not just this one. You're going to see several drop-in refrigerants and if it's anything like R22 drop-in refrigerants were, you're going to see folks fight over, well, this one's better than that one. But unfortunately, there is a place for this stuff. They're going to have to come up with ways, especially if things just keep getting phased out and they're more expensive. You'll have to figure out a way to get folks still going, give them the refrigerant that they need. It'll be interesting to see how this all works out. If you have laid hands on this, please comment down below. Love to know what your thoughts are on it and if it's any good, right? Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. We'll see you next time.